I've changed the shack again, so stick around and see what I've done. Hi, welcome along to Barbecue Life, where a great barbecue doesn't have to cost a fortune. My name's Tom, and as I said at the beginning, uh, today is a bit of a shack improvement style video. So we're going to jump straight in, and I've shot some, some footage of how the shack worked originally and what the problem is. So as you can see, it's got a flap on the front of it, so there was one on the other side, but we've taken that out in order to start preparing for putting the the new structure in place so this front flap you open them up they're hinged at the top and then you put a big wooden wedge in there and that opens up the front of the shack but the problem is is that where the shack in the garden is now you get a nice big shadow right across our decking area where we want to sit in the summer so as soon as you get to sort of two o'clock in the afternoon most of that wooden area is covered in um, shadow so it's not practical so we need to be able to take these flaps off so that we're not causing that shadow um, and driving my missus around the wall so in order to do this obviously as cheaply as possible because if you like, haven't realized by now i don't like spending money and um, lots of people had uh, fence issues over the winter with all them winds so my next door neighbor had some fence that is like a, uh, a feather edge panel and she actually gave one of us one of them to us to replace one of our panels while she was getting um her panels replaced before we got around to doing ours so i've kept hold of this once i've got my fence panels done and this is what i'm going to use to build the new front on the shack so the idea is is that we have I cut these panels into three and they're going to kind of lip over um, a piece of wood at the top and drop down into place so i've cut one down to the right width already so widths are going to be completely dependable on the side of your shack uh, these are 70 centimeters wide these particular ones and they're going to fit in as i say in three panels so as you can see you can lift that up into position and that will slot in there so what i now need to do is work out how i'm going to get this hung so i did need to do some modifications to the front of the shack so we used to have a really thick sturdy beam across the top and now we've got a much skinnier one so that things can lip over the top of it it's not changed the real structure of the shack you've got the roof battens in above um, the closed in roof as well holding the width of everything in place so putting this smaller beam in there all that really does is hold up the uprights for the door frame so it doesn't make a massive difference structurally so as I said at the beginning this is kind of this is another shack variation so originally when i first had the shack it was completely open fronted um, as you can see from these pictures and as much as that's really nice for airflow and access and things like that the wind blowing in there was an absolute nightmare so it was like a big pocket if you had a, a wind blowing in the front it would kind of catch in one side and then whip round and it was an absolute nightmare for trying to stabilize temperatures which is why i decided to close it in a bit more and the fact that it always got full of leaves the leaves would blow in and they'd get stuck in a corner behind the barbecue um, and when you're using something like hot metal like the weber kettle and you've got leaves behind it maybe sitting up against the side of the um the metal itself then you've got a real risk of a fire issue so i was forever having to clean the leaves out which is why we changed it to this front structure with the front flaps anyway back on to this this new look so what we're going to do then is we need to build a lip on the side so as you can see i'm going to zoom this footage in a little bit from what i originally recorded so i've put a piece of battening on um the back side that is exactly the same width as the piece of batten that runs across the top that we are trying to lip over and then we just need a small piece of wood just to for it to drop over the back of so what i did was, was i screwed that into place and then unscrewed it and i put up two like mil mil and a half washers in there so it's just going to give me just a little bit of gap because with wood being a natural substance and it's swelling and things like that i don't want to be getting to the point where these are really tight and then having to play with them over the winter months so I've given it just that little piece of gap and then as you can see we just lift it up and it drops in over that top bar and drops down into position just kind of hanging in that position. So what I didn't show you on that first panel is we've also got that same um, like lip over feature for the very bottom. 
So again, I've just used some little pieces of wood. So these panels, are they're going to come in at a slight angle. They're sticking out slightly at the top and they're coming in at the bottom. So these pieces of wood are just going to lip over the initial pallet slats of the slat of the shack at the bottom. And they just lip over so that stops these from being able to swing and it keeps everything nice and tight. So we've got them two side panels in place and the middle panel is the one that's going to be the biggest pain. So initially I wanted this to sit inside of the other two panels. So I used much thinner battening on the back of it, hoping that I could drop that into place and then put the other two over the top, but it just wasn't going to happen. It wasn't having it at all. So we've still kept that skinnier battening on there because I'm not going to start fiddling about changing the battening over and I could end up cracking a board i did have to buy more boards for the middle one i only had enough boards like recycling boards um to do the two edges the middle ones i had to buy um some from wixies so these are slightly thinner so you get an extra there's an extra board instead of mine being 11 high on the two sides the middle one is 12 lots of boards because they're slightly skinnier but they only cost me 13 quid so to completely change the front of the shack for 13 pound isn't too bad whatsoever so this middle one we needed to account for the fact that we're already sticking out from the shack slightly um, with the first two panels and then giving it enough depth to be able to lip over so i had a little measure up and had a look and it's about 70 mil seven centimeters so i had a look down down the bottom in my massive wood store down the bottom and i managed to find a bit of fence post 75 mil um, so I screwed that onto the back and then dropped in the little lip piece as well. Again, that's all recycled wood. That's off the original panels, like the original fence panels. That was what held them all together. So the only money I've had to spend is on that front lot of um, feverage. So luckily enough, that 75 mil that lips over the front of there absolutely perfectly. It doesn't line up along the bottom absolutely exactly, but I think I'm just going to get the plane out and just plane a little piece off. When I put these in, I do have to put them in at a slight angle because there's not a lot of room at the top with the the um, lap of the front of the shack roof sticking out over the the actual main structure so that we don't get too much air going in in that air gap at the top. But they fit perfectly. Um, that drops in nicely all I've got to do is install some locks on there now and get some handles to make them easier to drop on and drop off but this was a quick Sunday well I say quick it took hours to get it absolutely right um, I was probably out here for about seven and a half hours all in all in total stripping the original um, slats off of the fence posts and then working out exactly how this is going to fit and go making sure everything's level to drop on so it wasn't a quick um, a quick change but it was a change that was necessitated by the fact that we're keeping all the sun out of the main part of the garden where we sit in the summer so if you like what we're doing here at barbecue life and if you want to have a look around the rest of the shack then make sure you check out this video at the end uh, where i've done a full shack tour and talk you through about different bits that i have built along the way it's all been done as cheaply as possible 99 percent of it is reclaimed um, the only things that we've had to pay for are like wood preserve and screws. All of the wood is reclaimed, um, skips and pallet slats and things like that. So that's the way we like to keep it on here as cheap as possible, passing them savings on to you so you've got more money to spend on your meat to do your cooking. So make sure you like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you think underneath. And thank you very much for watching. Cheers.